Hello, hello! So today I'm going to be making Kalbi marinade for pork tenderloin. Instead of marinating the whole tenderloin, I'm actually going to slice up my pork and then marinate it. It will be marinating overnight, so you will be seeing me in probably two different outfits. So I will just be showing the first process of making the marinade, which is super easy. It'll take like five minutes. And then you will see me grill up the pork. Unless it's raining tomorrow, then I will probably be searing it in a pan instead. You can do it either way. It doesn't matter. I like the taste of having stuff cooked on the grill, but it also tastes really good in the pan as well. So if you want to know how to make kalbi marinade yourself, just keep watching. I'm starting off by slicing off the silver skin off the pork tenderloin. I had two tenderloins in one package. Together they weighed three pounds, so I will be making enough marinade for actually five pounds, but I saved some of that marinade so I can cook some shrimp at a later date. You want to make sure you cut off the silver skin because it's not very easy to eat. It's not like fat where it melts off once you cook it because fat, you know, it kind of renders and it melts off and all this stuff. But with silver skin, it just doesn't do that. So it's very uncomfortable to eat. It's very chewy. It doesn't break down or anything like that. So just make sure that you cut it off. For my marinade, I add one cup of packed brown sugar, one cup of soy sauce. This is tamari. It's the same thing. Half a cup of water and a quarter cup of rice vinegar. Then I chopped up one small onion before this and just poured that into my uh, soy sauce mixture. That was from a previous recipe that I did. Then I sliced up two cloves of fresh garlic and just put that in there as well. I put two tablespoons of sesame oil. The original recipe asked for dark sesame oil. I didn't even know that there was a difference between dark and light. I guess maybe toasted sesame is compared to non-toasted. <laughs> and then I sliced up some green onion and put that in there as well. I tried to make sure that I got more of the lighter pieces of the green onion. That's where you're going to get more of that onion flavor in there. But I think I just put the whole thing in there. Just make sure you get a lot of that white lighter green color in there because you're going to get the majority of that flavor from that part. Now I decide just to stir it up, make sure it's all evenly stirred before I pour it into the bag. I guess the step doesn't honestly really matter since it's all going to go in the bag and mix up there, but I just wanted to make sure it was all pretty much even. And then now I'm just pouring it into my bag. I know that I'm using a plastic bag, but you want something that's airtight because you want the soy sauce or the Soy sauce mixture to really coat your meat so that it can marinate properly. And once you see that I squeeze all this air out and then I spread all the sauce and meat out, then everything is like 100% coated. There is no air to where like one piece of meat isn't going to get coated enough than another piece of meat. The kitchen life in me, I'm just used to labeling everything before I put it in the fridge, even though I'm the only one who really, you know, looks at that kind of stuff. But I just want to make sure that Ben doesn't ask me, what is this? <laughs> and we're back. I'm going to start putting my Colby pork onto these skewers because it'll be easier for me to grill instead of trying to pick them up one by one and flipping them over. I let these skewers soak for probably about an hour, so then they won't burn when they go onto the grill. So soaking my skewers really didn't prevent them from burning that much. It did to an extent, but once I turned my flame back up to high about halfway through my cooking, my skewers still got burned pretty bad. So I would probably prefer metal skewers over wooden skewers if you had the choice. I will now buy metal skewers for me. All right, now that I got a messy countertop and these all kebobbed up, I'm going to go out and grill them. I also have rice on the stove and it's got about 10 minutes left on it, so I'll just throw these on the grill and come back in and take that off and then stir it around and make sure it's nice and fluffy and then go back out and turn these. All right, we're outside now. I oiled up my grill. Now I'm going to put all my tenderloins on there. I had my grill up to about 400. So it's been probably about four or five minutes. I'm gonna flip them over. My oven did drop down to 300. Hello. 
So yeah, even when I was flipping it, I noticed that some of the sides on that side weren't cooked through all the way. So I ended up moving all of them up to the top so they don't get cold outside while I'm waiting for the other ones to cook. I also realized too that they probably weren't cooking as fast was because I accidentally turned the flames down and I didn't turn them back up as soon as I closed the lid. So it took them a little longer, but I turned the flames back up to high. Looking like my pork is done. So I ended up serving this over rice and I put a little bit of sesame oil and soy sauce on my rice just so that there's a little sauce with it. It's really good. It reminds me of yakiniku, which is basically just the Japanese version of a Korean barbecue where they have a grill in the middle of the table and cook their meats there just the same. It really has more of like a teriyaki flavor to it, not so overpowering and obviously the sauce isn't there because I grilled it. If you fry it in a pan, the sauce will probably stay on it more likely. And my pork really didn't dry out that much being on the top rack. It it is obviously a little drier than the ones that I put on the second time, but it's not so dry that like I can't eat it or it's like noticeably dry. So yeah, I hope you guys make this kalbi marinade yourself and have some Korean barbecue or yakiniku. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!